Yo, by the way, I just want to shout out Unrivaled because like the production on these streams is unbelievable. So many, mm -hmm. so many streams should be taking notes, honestly. If you run a stream, watch what these guys are doing. I love the little player facts integration and mm -hmm. just the general presentation is beautiful, man. Sage, Sage really knows what he's doing, so make sure you follow these guys on Twitch and support everything they do. Meanwhile, we're going to get into this game one, Ally versus Ned, Smashville for the start. No surprises here. It's another Mario Cloud matchup for Ally. And this is a cloud that can give him fits. It's a cloud that is known for a couple of different... Like, like we said, we've been talking a lot about the differences between Mewtwo King and Tweak and Ned and how they play. His, he's more of a movement-based cloud. Uh, Mewtwo King will go a lot for reads. He'll go for a lot of like flashy edge guards. Yeah, I would definitely compare Ned to Tweak way more than either of them to Mewtwo King. So this is kind of like the spiritual successor to the very fast aggressive cloud that we don't get to see unfortunately because tweak didn't make top eight mm -hmm. yeah net i wouldn't call net an aggressive cloud. i would call him just a very spacing oriented like dash dancing a lot waving in and out of your your projected range and just playing my own game kind of cloud. yeah net really looks like he's playing the game at 1.5 times speed or something sometimes mm -hmm. his movement is so crisp but he's gonna miss that punish here on ally and ally's Doing a pretty strong run here. 131 to 48. Limit break, moment. though, keeping Ned alive here. Mm -hmm. And he's looking to get some up air strings. Gonna miss the second one. Flood just so gimmicky, man. I hate that move. It definitely <laughs> kind of bodies Cloud. Because once you're forced to use that limit up B, that's just such a stab into your momentum. Mm -hmm. But now he's finding Ally off stage, but he charges the up smash, but gets beat out by the back air just wow. in time. Taking one to the face. Now Ned, okay, a little weird frame trap. Forward tilt at a same safe distance, so Ally's like, okay, I'm gonna, just gonna jump in, and Ned answers with the up tilt. Mm -hmm. But he's got a lot of work to do here. He still has to take this stock, and if Ally gets a grab, it could be so much damage. Indeed, he's very close to sealing out the stock, though. It is Ned. Up air here, pretty stale, as it always is. Not gonna take it. Ally really looking for this grab. Okay, he's gonna find it. Doesn't get the forward air, though. I think too much rage on the down air sent him too far. Mm. You know, I've seen a lot of people pop out of that. That used to be the, the, the quote-unquote ally combo. It hasn't been landing nearly as much as it used to. Maybe, say, at, like, Smash and Smash 2015. Right. I think a lot of people are just used to when you can get out of it or how you should DI and air dodge, etc. Mm. But I would really like to see, side note, uh, at 0%, yeah, the up throw, up air, back air. Ally actually just went forward there, but you're supposed to short hop the up air. Otherwise, you go too high and you can't convert it once you get to the ground. Ned playing very safely, Ooh. but he gets, the ally gets in and gets tons of damage. That was gorgeous, man. The fastball back air into immediate turnaround up tilt. Mm. Another thing that tilt stick makes a lot easier. Yeah, tilt, tilt stick is uh, the truth. It's definitely the meta right now, man. I was very resistant to Switch myself. And I was like, man, I've been playing with all default controls for so many years. How am I going to get used to this? But it definitely pays off. Oh, that could have been a... Could have went for that finishing touch there, potentially. Yeah, Mario is at that kill for another yeah, one. <laughs> he definitely wanted it there. But Ally not going to feed him that air dodge. If Ned had just gone for it, just bet it all, I think it would have worked out. Ally yeah. was right in the range. It looked like he... It looked like it would have beaten out his jump. Yeah. That's a very wide hitbox. Yeah, it, it goes pretty high. Like, ooh, but Ally gonna close the first game out with an up smash in signature fashion. Unfortunately, that long lasting dare hitbox just barely didn't last long enough for that fastball. And that meant that Ally took the stock. Also, Mario's got quite the impressive horizontal range on that up smash. So if he's able to just go a little bit to the side and make Cloud whiff the down air, it can work out very well for him. Mm hmm. Uh, the recently sponsored ally from Cloud9, 6th on the Panda Global rating, which was updated before his torrent run starting at Get On My Level 2016. Yeah. Literally, I feel so bad for the guys at PG because they made this list, they worked very hard on it, and then as soon as they made it, it just completely changed the game. Like, mm -hmm. uh, Or the game completely changed, rather. And also, didn't Bayonetta get another nerf right before Get On My Level? I'm pretty sure that was what happened. It was like two days before Get On My Level. They introduced, or maybe even one day, they put in patch 1.16, and that really shook oh, things Oh, yeah, Get up. On My Level ran pre-patch, right? Uh, no, they, they so updated all the Wii U's. Oh, they updated them all. Yep. Combo Breaker ran pre-patch. Yes, yes. That, that was what it was. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I do remember that being the case. But, yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's what happens when you make a list, is it immediately changes. Right? Like, anything to make you guys look wrong, say, the top 50 players in the world. Just ask Zero about his tier list videos and how they get patched up immediately. But... 
We're staying on Smashville again, of course. This is another big lead for Ally here. But now he's stuck on this platform. This movement from Ned is going to really stop Ally from landing, but he gets that air dodge past him. There, he's just trying to space these back airs. That's what he loves to do with Limit, is run around auto-canceling bears on people's shields. Especially slower characters like Mario. You can get away with that pretty easily on his shield. Right, that shorter jump height and increased fall speed makes Limit... Excuse me, Limit Cloud so dangerous with his aerial spacing game. And just like that, he's tied it up again, but that grab gonna come out here from Ally. And he's gonna try to land. Okay, nice spacing there by Ned. He gets out away from that up smash. First stock potentially coming to a close here. Wow, Ned with the brilliant spacing, but a little slow on the reaction. He mm. could have easily taken a stock right there. And there, there's Cloud's grab range, which is the bane of my existence all the time, always. Oh no, why? Why? Why, Ally? Uh, you could have just gone for the back throw. Was it really worth tacking on that extra percent? I don't think it would have killed. Cloud is kind of heavy, but still. It would have put him in a really poor edge or a poor recovery situation, and he might just be dead anyway. That yeah. turned him around, but he still grabbed the ledge. Yep. Of course, Cloud and most characters in this game able to grab the ledge backwards out of their up B. So mm. since Cloud goes straight vertical, as long as he's not holding left or right and drifting, the cape isn't going to do all that much to him from the edge. Ned again has control of the stage, but he whiffs that forward tilt and back throw coming out here big. He didn't get the first one, but the second one's going to land. If it doesn't work, try it again. Okay, so Ally now, again, looking for one of these grabs because with all this rage, the down throw will combo at zero a lot better than it does without any rage. Mm -hmm. And we could just see him extend this lead so far, and he just can't get too thirsty for the grab because Ned knows what he's looking for, of course. Right. This guy's no stranger to the Mario matchup. They're playing Mario's here in Chicago, so Ned has the experience, and he's played against Ally's Mario as well, quite multiple times. Including taking, I believe, two sets of all time? Yeah, he has two sets on him, and I think it's, it's either two and two or two and three in favor of Ally. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Ally does have the advantage in terms of set count here, and he has the advantage in this exact game right now. He's up a stock, but and if again, he loses it right here, it's not looking so good for him. Ned wants to hold his limit for as long as possible uh, once again. That is his style, being able to dart around the stage with it. Um, and he's just going to look for a way to seal off the stock without using it. Right, if he holds it, then as soon as Ally respawns, he can hit him with something like an up air into side B combo, and that would actually do exactly 39% and even mm -hmm. the game up right off the bat. So we're going to see Ned looking for it. Mm -hmm. And here, now Ally's going to get the grab here on the taxi platform. That kind of ruined his combo. It definitely did, and I'm surprised he didn't adjust it somehow by maybe going for forward throw and catching Ned on the way forward. But either way, this limit's still online. Ned has had mm. this limit for maybe a full minute. Yeah, he as, as long as he's got that stage, he's not going to lose it. And he's going to wait until the very right time like he did versus Dark Shad. And you see when Cloud's in limit, he goes nowhere from Mario's down throw. Absolutely nowhere. So you could get free combos on this guy for pretty much, I'd say 120 is when it would stop working. Maybe 100. And another great neutral air landing from Ally it just lets that lingering hitbox sit and ruin the way that Cloud was going to keep him from landing. Ned definitely down to his last breath in this game too here. But Cloud, one of those characters kind of engineered for comebacks. As long as he's mm -hmm. got limit on deck, he can win any situation. Or a forward smash with max rage! Oh, not max, but still a lot. Close enough. A lot of rage. That? <laughs> Remember when they nerfed that? Me neither. Yeah, nah. <laughs> what nerf? That move they, does I think it was so just, much knockback. I think it was only two knockback growth units that they nerfed it by. Also, a little player fact, PG player facts. Ned and Ally, of course, as we mentioned before, played at Smash and Splash 2. It was one and one in sets. Ned took it in winners. Ally took it in losers finals, sending Ned to third place. And neither of these guys, or one of these guys is not going to be able to make it that far today, mm -hmm. depending on who wins this set. Yeah, definitely. Um, this might be another one of those sets that's just on Smashville forever. Uh, yeah, possibly. I think that was the case at Smash and Splash. They just played on Smashville. I remember one game being on Duck Hunt, I'm pretty sure. That's weird, but <laughs> whatever. Yeah, maybe Ned <laughs> kind of picked it to like run away and charge like he's doing right now. A taxi platform is so good for running away and charging limit, especially against the slower Mario. Just spacing those forward airs on shield, staying so safe. Mm -hmm. With a move like that, where it has big wind up, but it ends so quickly once you get to the ground or hit the shield, you just, oh, Ned, not realizing he just gained limit. But yeah, you gotta stuff the move on startup, like Cloud's forward air. You don't want to challenge that once the hitbox is active. Mm -hmm. And then, see, there you or go. You he power, shielding. power shielding is definitely effective. Yeah. But all he could get was forward tilt. Yeah, because it still has such a huge range that even if you're able to negate the block stun with the power shield, you're still not gonna get all that much off of it. 
Look at how much shield damage that forward air does as well. It does, uh, I believe. A hefty chunk. Uh, I don't remember how much damage it does, but it's a lot. Uh, actually, we might be able to look I... it up, but there's a fair from Ally, sending him to the drink. It's a big opening up lead here that he can do in game three. Oh, and he does get the grab on the respawn. That is essential to... Oh, and he went for just a jab this. one there. <laughs> he just wanted to send him to the ledge. Or maybe even worse. But now Ned's got Ally right where he wants, and he's trying to get him to land here. Okay, so my intuition was correct. Cloud's forward air does 14 damage, so that's lots of shield damage. Mm -hmm. And it's such a big hitbox, it can shield poke as well. You do multiple of them in a row. Right, if they're not aiming their shield up. Okay, Ned's that was a gonna nice respond, frame though. trap of some description. Spend his Super Saiyan energy to get a stock there. Oh, and that's it. That's it. Wow. Misses it, and then goes for it again. <laughs> How did he force the jab lock? I think he just did down throw and Ned didn't tech it. Oh, and then he did just jab, jab. Okay. Yeah. Weird. All right. All right. Well, that's going to be a 2-1 lead here for Ally. And maybe with his back to the wall, we'll see a counter pick. I'd like to see what Ned can do on another stage, but he's very comfortable here. He's just going to Smashville. Okay. And it would be a shame to see a guy get sponsored by Cloud9 and then get double eliminated by Cloud. <laughs> So I think Ally maybe with a little bit of a subtle message to prove here. Mm -hmm. He's looking strong though, of course. Oh, and again, Ally just not getting that optimal up throw combo. He could have done draw up up air, back air, then re-grab, or turn around up tilt. And there's just so much you can get off that, so much reward. But and again, looking for that forward smash. Gets the second one. In limit, it actually might be a true combo on Cloud at certain percents. And if you were a little closer to the edge and that forward smash were fresh, huh? oh, actually, the forward smash was fresh. But yeah, still, I mean, this could kill it. Some scary low percents. Mm -hmm. Ned just looking to play a very nice spacing game. Like, every time Ally gets in, he just gets tons of damage. So he's trying to slow the game down a bit here. Gonna throw him off the stage. This is nightmare scenario for Cloud, being off stage against Mario, especially when he has the fully charged Flood. Fortunately, that's not quite ready yet. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure Ally's gonna start charging soon. Oh, he had the air dodge read, but his spacing was a little bit off with that neutral air. How many times does that happen in this game, man? I feel like that happens so much. It's like, I totally read your air dodge. I was just pixels away, either spacing or timing. You're either pixels or frames away from taking a stock. Mm -hmm. That happens to me with Yoshi's forward air. Yeah. A lot of the time. But yeah. we're not going to talk about bad characters because there are good characters on the screen <laughs> here. So, <we're laughs> Cloud, he's, he's successfully slowed the game down. And he's being able to just keep Ally from landing enough that he can get some conversions out of it. And now he can find a stock here, try oh, to spot wow. dodge it. Yeah, that's not very advisable, I would say. Maybe if you block the first three or four hits, you can spot dodge the last one and make it less safe. I've heard rumor that you can roll behind it between second you and can. third hit. And you maybe can. that yep. was what he went for, and it was a misinput. Yeah, you actually can do that. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know what he was looking for. Either way, well, Ally with the crazy down throw to fair, not over the edge though, so he wasn't going to take a stock, but now we're back to an even game, and Ali's got that fully charged flood, which could really be the X factor here for him. Oh no. Or not. Throws it too early. Unfortunate there. But that was a very important stock to take, not only because then Ned could stop getting extra credit on this stock, but the limit was fully charged, and that's exactly where Ned wants to be. He always wants his limit charged, he always wants to have that resource and that movement ability. There are actually a few times where you don't want to have your limit charged, and that's if you're at, your opponent's at a low percent where you're not really going to kill them. You spend all this effort charging, and then they throw you off the stage and flood you or something, and then you're forced to use it for up B. Mm. And then you just lose so much momentum. But speaking of momentum, Ally looking to snatch it back from Ned, who is looking so good and poised to take this to game five. Still is, but I don't know. We could see Ally make one of his miraculous comebacks. If this goes to game five, it may be a counterpick from Ally. Just because I feel like this taxi platform is kind of messing with a lot of his strings. Yeah, he needs to just maybe do something more static, you know, like Battlefield or... Do it Final again? Destination. No, yeah, no. <laughs> Ned not going to fall for that, of course. He's just going to jump away to safety. Mm. The taxi platform, again, perfectly positioned to help him out of that tricky spot. These safe back airs from Ned, though. He's really keeping Ally out. So tight with the limit, of course, because you stay so low to the ground. That was scary. Are we going to see the cross slash? The standoff. Oh, no! very nice by Ned. Reacts to the standup. Catches him with limit up B. Gets both hits, and that's going to take Ally to game five. 2-2 now between Ned and Ally. Kind of a, a rival 
situation for these guys. Mm -hmm. This is this may be the budding of a very interesting rivalry in the Midwest. Ally has been living in Michigan for some time. He's been on and off living in Michigan and Canada. So he's been coming to a lot of Michigan stuff and traveling, of course, to Chicago, where we have some awesome tournaments. Right, but it, these two have played quite a bit at this point. Ned, of course, trying to live up to his tag, though, or his sponsor tag of Unrivaled, where he's not going to let Ally get any more sets on him after this one. He's going to say this is a one-sided rivalry. Perhaps. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and, I mean, everyone wanted to see Ally versus Zero. That's like a classic match that so many people look forward to every major. But I don't know. Are we going to get it? Ally's trying to say yes. That, That's one way to say yes. 81 ways that he said yes just now. And, okay, there is going to be no Zero to Death, of course. Now Ned's got... It's, it's kind of an unconventional way to get your limit, but right. taking a big beating is one way to get your limit fully charged. Very much like Little Mac. You could just mm -hmm. get bodied, KO punches online, take the first stock anyway. And I don't know if we're going to see a scenario like that between Ally and Ned here, but, I mean, Ned is fighting, man. He's all the way back in this. Ooh, I, I think he was looking for a finishing touch. Oh, maybe there. But he's 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 playing so conservatively, though, with these backers. And it's, he really it's is. Gotten him all, he's gotten him this far in this matchup. Yeah, but even still, maybe it's time to go for a little bit of a style switch. If you go too... If you play too scared or too safely, an opponent like Ally can just catch on and capitalize. That is true. We saw how well the uh, aggressive edge guarding worked for Mitsu King. And he, I was literally just going to say he needs to watch his jumps because Ally is sharking for an up smash here. He had limit on deck. He could have just waited, wait for Ally to run up, and instead of giving him the jump that he looked for, give him some blue stuff to the face. That is true. And now Ally, again, he's going to get these low percent combos, but just gets the back air there. Ned needs to get limit immediately, and he also needs to not worry about saving it. He's going to get one again by the time it's time to take Ally's stock. Mm -hmm. So, all right, Ally's second stock. So he might as well just get the job done on the first one. Play it safe, man, but not too safe again. He's about two-thirds of the way there, I think, just based on my count. Well, well maybe not. A little bit more. But here we go. Ally with now a huge lead, poised to take this game five. Anything can happen, though. We've seen Ned make crazy comebacks. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little nerve showing here for Ned in this fifth game, throwing out that cross slash a little errantly. He was looking so good on the first stock, man, mm -hmm. but Ally is just taking this momentum and ran with it. Uh, Ned is trying to space very well here. That dare will land. And again, Ally's in a tough spot, but he gets down on the stage safely. Just goes for the running pivot forward tilt. I can't help but think that was supposed to be pivot grab. If you're just a little slow on the Z press, you get the tilt. Mm. Old blows him away, but Ned totally fine with that. Just going to take the opportunity to charge on the platform, but barely any charge at all. No down smash from Ally there. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. Maybe he just wasn't ready for it, but here we go. 91% on Ned. Definitely bad, but not the worst. Now he's very close to having his limit, which is where he wants to be. Ooh, managed to snap before the flood comes into play. That would have been bad. It would have. And Okay, a landing up air into another up air into an up tilt. That is the Cloud Classic, man. You can tack on so much percent at the early damage ranges. Mm -hmm. Landing those auto cancel up airs can lead to big money. Only 30% though so far on Ally. He's got work to do yet. And look at Ned just playing so safely here. He knows that Ally's looking for a select few moves here, namely throw into edge guard like that. Taxi and platform is gonna kind of deny that opportunity though. Yeah, not even forced to the ledge there. Oh, oh Ned, he the just there. a little too late with the up air. Either way, man, he's still in this 53%, just a couple more hits, and then Ally's in kill range. Oh, this is scary. He finished the set at Smash and Splash with a finishing touch. I wonder if he's trying to repeat history now. Ally's certainly trying to repeat that loser's finals history. Mm -hmm. But only going to get a grab off of that. He actually could have up smashed between the jabs. That's, That's it. it. Ally clutches out with the back air. He that was such a close set, but Ally moving on. The Ally Zero rematch is still in the cards, potentially. Yep, Ally now qualifying for Loser's Semifinals, where he's going to take on the winner of Mr. E and Zenodo, who I believe will be our next contenders. And we're going to get mm -hmm. a quick little interview with TSM Zero before we get uh, the winner's finals. All right, take it away, Nightwing.